Hey, welcome back to the Genesis Principle of Fine Arts. My name is Alton Jones. Thank you for joining me again today for another session of this Last Cup Until We Drink painting. Before I get into the painting, though, let me just encourage you to take a moment out of your day to check in on someone, see how they're doing, find out if they're all right. Especially for those people who, you know, someone is always checking in on you, seeing how you're doing, making sure you're okay, but you never do the same for others. Let me encourage you to try it. Give up your comfort zone a little bit and just check in on someone else. See how they're doing. Um, it might be uncomfortable for you at first because you're not used to doing this. But that's okay. It only makes you stronger. So check in on someone else. See how they're doing. And when you check on someone else, more, more often than not, they'll say, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm suggesting that you insist a little. Insist. See if they're really fine, if they're really okay. As most people say they're fine, they're okay when they're not. More often than not, that's a defensive mechanism to protect their vulnerability. Most people feel powerless when they say they're not okay or they don't show that they're vulnerable. They always want to be in control. And there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with being vulnerable. All of us go through challenges and face struggles every day. We have to meet and handle disappointments. And so that's fine. So I'm saying insist a little. When they say, I'm okay really quickly or I'm fine. Just insist a little. Just enough to find out if they're really okay. You may find that the results of that really surprise you. And the surprise may be pleasant as well. You may find that the person... You've made such a difference in their life just for checking, just for showing that you care enough to insist to find out how they're really doing. It can really transform the day of a person and sometimes even their lives to know that someone care enough to insist to see how they're really doing to find out if they're actually really okay, if they're fine. Anyway, I hope that makes some sense. Let's get back into the painting now, and um, hopefully you enjoy this one as well. Okay, so we're back on the canvas here. Thank you for for joining me again and uh, going through this process with me. I thought this would be the last session of, of this painting, but I guess not. Um, a lot of small details I need to cover, so... I'll just continue on until this one is finished. Maybe I can get what I need to get done done in the next session, hopefully. But for now, we'll continue. And um, continue working on some of the things that I, I'd like to deal with. What I'm dealing with today, I, I thought I'd do a, quick, a short, quick video and just kind of show you a little bit of the process in me refining some of the small details or yeah refining things bringing things together a little bit more as you can see I'm working on the drapes in the back here and the idea is to move them from looking like streaks of, of, of oil paint with various colors into looking like actual fabric and so that's what I'm doing right now I'm refining the the uh, the draperies and um, giving them a nicer appeal more like fabric I'll give you a, a sense of that this is like flowing fabric and not just as I said um, streaks of paint in various colors so that's what I'm doing now and beyond that I'll be working on a little bit on the the tablecloth the purple tablecloth draped over the table and also a bit of the stonework on the floor and um, I think that would probably be it today. Um, so slow, very slow process with this one. I'd like to finish each painting in about seven sessions. And uh, seven sessions, seven sittings. Well, not seven sittings. because 
I sit a lot more than I actually show on YouTube. Um, the sessions are quite long. As you can see, this one is actually sped up. It's not real time. It's still um, time lapsed to some degree, but you can still pretty much get an idea of what I'm doing. And so um, I'll try to finish in seven se sessions. At least that's what I'd like to do, but seems they're taking a little bit more than that. But today, at least you get to see how I refine things a little bit, give things a little bit more character before I get to detail and highlights. So this is the refining stage of a few things uh, in the in the scene here. And in this room, uh, as I mentioned that in one of the videos that this is a Passover painting. This is based on Passover. And this room is loaded with religious symbolisms. It's a painting of religious symbolisms. So everything inside this room means something and is significant for something. Everything from the drape to the lamp in the far left corner to the grapevine draped over the chest there, the chest itself, the unleavened bread, the cup in the center of the table and uh, the kind of wood that I'm trying to convey with the table, which is cedar. Everything is symbolic of uh, and um, potent with religious meaning, uh, biblical, biblical religious meaning. Anyway, I'll just leave you now and let you watch through. I'm trying to increase the amount of time I speak on these um, videos. As I, I keep saying, I'm not very comfortable with constantly narrating and constantly speaking while I'm trying to work or even afterwards, but I'll try to explain some things as I go along so that you can have a better understanding of what exactly is taking place throughout the painting. And if there's something that you'd like to address or you have a question that you would like me to answer, feel free to drop me a line and I'll respond to that as soon as I can. If I don't have the answer for you, as I like to say, I will get it as soon as I can. Anyway, I'll leave you now so you can watch through to the end and I'll show a couple of pictures at the end of what the painting is looking like presently and then in the next session we can pick up from that point to hopefully to a point of finish at least finish the painting stage and then it can sit for drying then varnish and then framing and hopefully i'll get to show you that as well at some point in the close future thanks again for sitting through i'll leave you now so you can watch watch through take care of yourself take care of your families and do your best to help those who you can as much as you can and i'll see you in the next video